Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. In this video, we are going to talk about dynamic enqueuing of assets. So what does that mean? So let's say we have a JavaScript file called load more single and I need some functionality on the single post page, uh, but I don't want that JavaScript to be included anywhere else. I only want that to be included uh, on the single page because it's not very efficient to load the JavaScript onto all the pages when it's not needed, right? So for performance reasons, it's best to include only on that page. So how do we do that? So we already have this file called load more dot, uh, load more hyphen single dot js. What we can do is we can say WP NQ script. We give it the handle we give it the path up until the single.js. So what we're doing is uh, we've created a file called single.js and we've imported the load more single into that. So, so all these styles and scripts related to the single post is going to go inside of this. So we'll give the path up until the single.js in, in the build directory. And then if we have any dependency, we'll use that. And then we'll give the version number using file m time and then include it in the footer, right? And then uh, if I just say WP NQ script and I give the handle name like I've done it for the other scripts, it's going to include that on all the pages and that's not what we want, right? What we really want is that we only want to include it on the single page itself. So WordPress has given us a lot of functions. For this purpose, we have a function available called is single, which determines whether the query is for the existing single post. So all you have to do is just before enqueuing the file, so we can use this function called is single before using the WP NQ script, right? So let's see what this function does. If we go into the WordPress core, this file is inside of WP includes query.php. Uh, do not touch this file because this is a core file. This is just for your understanding. Uh, so take a look. So it determines whether the query is for existing single post works for any post type except, except attachments and pages, right? So as you can see, it's using the global WP query, it's checking if that is set, and then it's calling the is single function under the hood. And then if you go to the class WP query, you can see this is where this is single function exists. And this is basically going to check whether or not uh, this page query is for single post. So that's how we're gonna get to know. So if you go back, so this function is going to return true. So take a look. The return type is Boolean, whether the query is for single post. So this will return true in case if you, if the user is on the single page, uh, false otherwise, right? So if this is true, then this function is going to get called and our single JS file is only going to be included uh, on that page on, and not anywhere else. So let's try that. So if you go back to our code and if I check the page source, look for single JS. There you go. You can see that the single.js is included. Click on that. There's a file. And now try to search this file um, onto the home page and see if that and see if that works. I'm gonna go to the home page and check the page source. Look for single.js and you can see I'm trying to hit it, but there's nothing there, right? So this is pretty powerful because then I have kind of saved that uh, piece of code from getting loaded on the home page. And, and you know that home page is definitely the most important page for your performance, etc., or, or any other page for that matter. It's not gonna get loaded anywhere else. And, and that's pretty powerful. Brilliant then. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Uh, please start my repository to support my work. Thanks to all the beautiful 440 people who have already started my repository. And please follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imran H. Sayed. And follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Coditech. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.